Hey guys, welcome to week four of our series on Mark 11, 24. Let's review the verse. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. So far, we learned about how God hears our prayers, then how praying with others adds strength, and last week, we learned about praying and then thanking God for what we believe He will do. And this week, we're going to learn about our confessions. When we say things like, I can't do this, or I'm a loser, that's a negative confession. And when we say things like, I am strong, or I am courageous, that's a positive confession. And the words that come out of your mouths can affect our attitude and can also limit how God can work in our lives. If we say negative things over and over, someday we might start believing them. Keeping a positive confession is a great way to keep your attitude in the right place. A good way to keep our confession positive is by saying things like, I, can do, I can't do this on my own, but God can help me, instead of, I can't do it. Let's go learn about our lesson. Today's big point is, my words affect my life. Say it with me now, my words affect my life. Today's Bible story is found in Matthew chapter 14, starting in verse 22. Jesus had just finished feeding 5,000 people with only five loaves and two fish. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake. After sending the crowd home, Jesus went up to the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land for a strong wind had risen and they were fighting tall and heavy waves. At about three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came towards them, walking on water. When the disciples saw this, they cried out in fear. It's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid. Take courage. I am here. Then Peter called out to Jesus and said, Lord, if it really is you, tell me to come to you, walking on the water. So Jesus said, yes, come. And Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward Jesus. But when Peter saw the strong wind and waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out, grabbed him, and said, You have such little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshipped him. You really are the Son of God, they said. Peter had strong faith when he stepped off the boat. But when he started to doubt, he let those thoughts consume him. If Peter had not doubted, he would have continued to walk on the water. But Peter became scared, and his faith grew weak. A positive confession is a good way to help us keep our faith strong. By saying things out loud, we're reminding ourselves of God's power and love for us. When we are scared, it is easy to say things like, I can't do this, or I'm too scared. But God on our side, we can do all things through Him. Today's memory verse is... When you talk, do not say harmful things, but say what people need. Words that will help others become stronger. Ephesians 4.29「ミッション Like, when was the last time you heard of, oh, a l e g e n t Agent 1124? That's literally a dumb name. Like, my agent name is so cool. It's Secret Spy 02. Like, obviously, if I go to SpyCon, everyone's gonna know who I am. But Agent 1124? No. He doesn't deserve the package. Why can't he get his own package? Why do we have to deliver it? He's a completely, in a completely separate agency, company, state. For all we know, he could be halfway across the country. And we're just like a t e m i n But, you know, it's fine. We're putting our lives on the line. It doesn't matter. He's probably sipping a soda on a beach, having a grand old time. Well, <laughs>
Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Mission failed? No wonder. You didn't help me look at all. It's been four weeks and we haven't found Agent 1124 yet. What makes you think we'd find him this week? You know, you have a really bad attitude right now. I think you should really try using positive confessions. Yeah, you're right. But what does it matter now? We've already failed the mission. Hey guys, Agent 1124 here. So after I failed my last mission at FCC, as you can tell, I've been missing for two years. <laughs> Whoopsie. So they deployed me on an Air National secret mission. Shh, it's a secret. I've been here doing my missions and I've sent you guys a couple of clips. So I want you to check them out and maybe you can join me for my mission sometime. Agent 1124, out. Finally, I made it to Rama. It's it's Rama. Whoa, he's real! Agent Eleven Twenty Four is real. No wonder we couldn't find him. He was on an international mission. I wonder if he'll ever be back to Space Kids headquarters. I'm not sure. <laughs> review today's big point and memory verse. Our big point is my words affect my life and our memory verse is when you talk do not say harmful things but say what people need. Words that will help others become stronger. Ephesians 4:29. That wraps up another series here in the Faith Kids Studio. We've had so much fun learning about the things said in Mark chapter 11, verse 24. There's some more we can learn, but we may have to come back another time. And let's read Mark 11, 24 one more time before we go. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. And remember, a positive confession creates a positive attitude. And a positive attitude is pleasing to God. See you next time. Bye! Bye.